In this section of the training, I'll show you how to use a modifier list button. A modifier list button is intended to allow, again, customization of an item a customer orders. We saw how customization of baked potato soup allows the use of an include button to normally include an item or to remove an item from an order. A modifier list button works a little bit different. A modifier list allows specification of, uh, of preparation instructions or something included with an item on the menu. And it only allows selection of one thing. In this example for modifier list buttons, we will be creating menu items for a dinner salad, for soft drinks, and for a steak dinner. For our dinner salad example, we're going to be using a modifier list button to select salad dressings. Next, let's place a submenu button onto the order entry menu so we can begin our modifier list button demonstration. Press F9 to go to design mode and then click the submenu button on the component palette and place that item onto the order entry menu. Type the caption and then select the product code that's been set up in the list for this item. Click save to save this item. Now let's press F9 to go to the run mode then we'll click dinner salad to navigate to the menu level below. Press F9 to go to design mode and then click the list button on the component palette and drop that onto the screen. For our caption, let's type select dressing. And then in the selection list, we'll type the names of the salad dressings that are available for this item. We have Italian, Ranch, Thousand Island, and Raspberry Vinaigrette. We press enter between each of these items. We're also going to check selection required. What this will do is require a selection of a salad dressing before this screen can be edited. Now let's go into the order entry program so you can see how this works. We'll exit the menu designer and exit the office manager program and launch the order entry program. Click new order and then click dinner salad. Notice how this button is yellow. Any yellow button in the order entry program means that this selection is required. We cannot exit this screen, for example, to go back to the food menu before selecting a salad dressing. So click continue, select our salad dressing from the list, and that selection is placed onto the customer's order. Let's exit the order entry program and go back to Office Manager to continue our training. tools and design your food menu for taking orders. Because it's so common for a guest to request salad dressing on the side, let me show you how we would set that up. Let's click this, the dinner salad button to navigate to the submenu. Now we have our select dressing modifier list button. Now there are two ways that we can that we can give information to the kitchen to put the dressing on the side. One is with a comment button so free form comments can be entered. The other is by setting up a standard fixed comment button so that all you have to do is touch that button for comments, commonly selected options. Let's press F9 to go to the design mode. And the first thing that we're going to do is set up that on the side button. I'm going to use an include menu component because the on the side request is so common. Just enter on the side as the caption, as the caption, and this is not normally included. Now we have an on the side button listed here. We'll also put a comment button because it's just good practice to put a comment button on every selection screen. This additional comment button can be used uh, when placing an order for uh, more unusual requests that a that a diner would have. Press F9 to go back to the run mode and then we'll continue with the training.